Hello, I'm Carl Roberts. I'm a Marine and winner of the Military Transformation Challenge for Bodybuilding.com. Growing up, I was always a scrawny kid in high school. Basically, when I graduated, I graduated weighing basically like 98 pounds. So it was just, it was always pressure, you know, it was always being small. I tried out for football in ninth grade, you know, stayed on the team for about a month. Well, it wasn't, growing up, it wasn't never really a big concern of mine. I just went to school and had fun, and, it, you know, it didn't really, it really bother me. I just, just did whatever I had to do and just, you know, just went about it just like that. It didn't really become a pressure until I went to the Marine Corps. And the Marine Corps is a big thing, to staying active and staying in shape, so that's when it became a big part of my life to try to get more active or try to put on masks, something like that. I got the uh, station in Okinawa, Japan, and once I got to Okinawa, Japan, uh, you know, just being new, fresh out of school, trying to find out where I, I fit in. I uh, went out for boxing. I did that with the coach for about a year. After that, I would say, probably towards that, my last year in Okinawa was a two-year deployment. I started transitioning from daily boxing to basically weight training. I had a roommate and a couple of guys that I stayed with that were big, you know, gym rats. At first, I would go with them, and I basically like, I had no knowledge of what I was, what I was going to do. Like lifting weights, usually I go in there and try to put the heaviest weight I could lift. You know, go in there and push that four times, go to another machine. But basically, they would give me the basics and the guidelines. Like these are the compound movements, this is what you're supposed to do. Over time, I would just do it on my own. So it became just a daily routine in my life. I would go to work, go to the cafeteria, go rep chow, and gym. And that was just basically every day I was at the gym. I just kept that same routine when I came back stateside. I would go to work and then child and gym. It's the same thing. Once I transferred to the reserves, I was activated and deployed to Afghanistan for a year. Once I came back from that deployment, I basically transitioned out of the Marine Corps and I sort of got, I guess I'd say depressed. I was, it, was a, it was a hard time for me to accept once I got out, got out of the military. You know, it was a big part of my life. That's all I had knew. And I stopped working out. I was just sitting home hanging out and basically I just just got out and got in a real bad shape so it took me just to you know take a look at myself and just like man you know I'm, I'm, I really need to get back in the gym and I just kicked myself in the butt and got right back into the gym basically I was on the internet one day just googling and obviously I was looking at some military stuff and I came across the military transformation challenge on bodybuilder.com so I figured you know why not choose this as a beginning to get myself back into shape so it gave me a goal to reach for something to motivate me I'm the type of person, if someone tells me that I'm not going to be able to do something, that's going to motivate me more to try to do it anyways. But once I set my mind to something, and anybody can attest to that, especially my parents, uh, I'm a stubborn person, so I'm going to try it out, you know, try it out for myself, period. So me having that goal to reach for, I'm going to do whatever I can to reach that goal. So that's basically how that happened. Just, just search around the internet, I came across it, and then it's it just, just like that. Everyone's body is different. So what will work what will work for me will not work for another person. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, being 18, I would look at his workout and try to do his workout, expect to look like him. No, and my body structure is not like his body structure. So basically what I would do is I would work out, I keep a log of what I would do. And if it, you know, how I felt after that workout or the day after, if I felt good about it, then I keep it. If I didn't, then I, I just toss it out. So basically you gotta get a feel of what worked for you. With training, I constantly try to switch up my training, uh, try to keep my muscles confused. Uh, every, about every two to three weeks, I try to incorporate something new, whether it be uh, weight training, I change up the reps, I change up the sets. I basically try to keep a constant change in my workout routine period. When I first started, I would do basic bodybuilding routines. I would do you know bench press, incline, decline, and, and things like that. Now, over time, I transitioned into incorporating like more resistance, like I would put the resistant bands on the on my bench press or just throwing more uh, supersets drop sets negatives like i said i constantly try to switch up the routine i don't want i don't like to do the same thing every day and every week so i try to keep it constant keep it switching say if it'd be crossfit one day you know, stuff like that to try to keep a constant change in my in my in my training yeah i try to keep my my reps and sets based off my goals so if i'm trying to build mass obviously i'm going to increase the weight uh, drop the reps and the preset sets. I try to do nothing less than 
you know, eight reps. I try to keep a split, just like a three-day split or four-day split. Right now, I keep my split at three days, which is usually chest, shoulder, and tries, back and bys, and then legs um, on another day. And then I throw, I put abs, you know, within three of those days as well. For those three-day splits, I keep most of my training bases just free weights, the basic squats, bench press, military press, deadlift. Uh, I may incorporate machines. So I, I keep it the basic bodybuilding, you know, bodybuilding style weight training, and then those the extra, it's like a Saturday, that's when I, I do it, something like high intensity training, uh, CrossFit, uh, stuff like that. Now cardio, it varies. Uh, sometimes I may do cardio in the morning. Uh, I try to keep uh, when I do cardio, I try to keep a, a good break in between it. If I do cardio in the morning, I give myself a four-hour break with, before I do weight training. I don't really need too much cardio, so I just leave my cardio about 15, 20 minutes a day. My rest days, I basically try to stay away from the gym on rest days. I just refill my body from all the, uh, the juice I gave it throughout the week. So I just try to stay away from the gym. I don't do any cardio, any anything like that. It's strictly rest day. My, my motivation for weight training is just, I just like the feeling of just being there in the gym, just going out there and just taking out the, the stress of the day, just going to the gym and just laying it all out on the weights. I, I get the natural high while I'm working out. Um, just being dedicated, so even though, even though I'm at the sacrifice going out at night with, with the guys one day of the week or, or, or stuff like that, it's just basically just keeping that mindset and just and staying motiv motivated. <music> Nutrition is the main, the most important part. Uh, you don't really grow in the gym, you grow out of the gym, so my most important meal is my post-workout meal. I base my diet off of what, what my goals are. So whether it be leaning, gaining mass, or just maintaining what I already have, I stick with whole foods. Whole foods has been a big part uh, in, in my transformation. Uh, over re doing research and reading, I've learned that whole foods are you know, more benef beneficial for your body. So uh, most of my proteins come from lean meats. My carbs come from grains, rice, grits, cereal. And then I keep my fats with almonds, uh, peanut butter, uh, almond butter and things like that. I incorporate a whole lot of veggies in my in my diet. Fruits, I keep to a minimum. Uh, basically, I use those as my dessert at the, at the end of the day. Just try to switch up, you know, switch up the meals every every week or something like that, just a, something a little bit different. Um, instead of just baking it, sometimes I may just uh, cook it in a crock pot. I just basically try to switch up how I prepare it and uh, just go from there. With seasoning, I try to stick to two to three seasonings, salt, pepper, maybe senior salt. Uh, hot sauce does play, I love hot sauce on, uh, on all my food. I don't try to incorporate a lot of ingredients. I try to keep it to a minimum so I can know what I, what I put in my body. I stick to six to eight meals a day, depending on how, how my schedule uh, plays out. But I start eating approximately about 6.30, 7 in the morning, and I try to eat every two and a half to three hours. One of restaurants, a big part of keeping track of what I'm consuming is an app. It's called the Calorie Counter. Basically, you can basically as a barcode, you can scan, you know, something that you picked up at the store. Or if you're going to the store, you can type in the restaurant and it pull up all the items that they have in that menu. And I just can see what, how many calories is in there, how many carbs, sodium, you know, things like that. So I can still, you know, keep myself in my my nutrition level. Cheat meals, I, I I do I do love my cheat meals. I go to my mom. She has the, the soul food, you know, come back from church, having the big the big dinner. So I, I look forward to those those Sunday feasts, whether it's rice, macaroni, fried chicken, you know, stuff like that. So I, I, I still, you know, I still consume those 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 meals, but just keep it to a minimum, depending on what my goals are. If I'm prepared for something, I may limit my cheat meals to once every 14 days or something like that. But I get, at least give myself one cheat meal based like a reward for the hard work that I've done throughout the week. I pick myself based off what I need in my, my daily diet to reach my fitness goals. The most of my supplements are basically what I'm not able to get throughout just consuming daily foods or natural foods. Usually I stick with protein, creatine, multivitamins, you know, healthy fats like fish oil, uh, post-workout, glutamine, things like that. I started out not being very knowledgeable about what I was taking. I would buy a supplement and take it thinking it was going to do the work for me. Uh, over time, I've learned to read up on the supplements. Uh, I do a lot of research. I go on the internet, read reviews, look up the, uh, the ingredients. The main thing is basically w reading what's in the supplements. A lot of supplements have a lot of junk in them, like fillers. So basically, I look at 
what the supplement it, what the supplement does as well as what's in that in, uh, in supplement. Uh, when I wake up, the first thing that I, I do take when I wake up are my BCAAs. I take my multivitamins. I also consume a uh, protein shake in the morning, sometimes in place of breakfast. Uh, before I work out, I take my pre-workout. I don't take a pre-workout that often. I try to cycle that. Most of I stick with the black coffee and some BCAAs before I work out. I uh, take the uh, creatine, obviously before and after I work out. I like to take my protein and mix it with uh, the peanut butter, oatmeal. Uh, sometimes I throw some berries in there, just to uh, give it a, a, a different, different feel. Just like a, you know, give it a different taste instead of having the same, you know, plain protein shake. So I like to throw different things in there to to, to increase the flavor. Everybody's body reacts different to different supplements. So what, once again, what works for me wouldn't actually work for another person. So, but the, I basically would tell everyone to start with, with protein, creatine, multivitamins, basically are the most important to start off with. I would never go back, back to good say This has been a big part of my life. Even uh, my, my job now, and I'm a personal trainer at the gym, so I try to keep the gym as a big part of my life, period. Um, I feel that my goal here is just to be help and motivate others, you know, like myself. If it wasn't for other people out there for me to look up to, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at today. So if anyone have any, has any questions or, or need any help or information, uh, you can visit my body space at CL Roberts Jr. or on Twitter at Let Me Sculpt You, Instagram as well. For more videos and content, keep coming to Bodybuilder.com.